With so many students gearing up to get back to school, districts across the country are getting creative about how kids can safely return to the classroom in person. The pandemic has educators thinking outside the box. Kaylee Hartung has more on whether your kids might end up learning outdoors. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Cecilia. Some kids will soon be outside for more than just recess and PE. The question's being asked every day with more and more urgency. How can we make it safe to bring kids back into the classrooms come fall? Well, some schools are getting creative and redesigning their classrooms outdoors. The reality is setting in. For some students, the fall will be another round of at-home learning. But now, a possible alternative, outdoor classrooms. This school in Honolulu, Hawaii, building these covered learning spaces, which will allow kids to go back to in-person schooling full time. These spaces are just our way to help get kids outside more and to be able to socially distance better throughout campus. The goal is to have it be a complete um, outdoor learning center. Other schools are catching on. This one in Melbourne, Florida, building an outdoor learning garden. The idea, backed by the American Academy of Pediatrics, stresses the importance of in-person learning and lists utilizing outdoor spaces as one of its high priority strategies for getting kids back to school. The same principles of um, interrupting viral transmission pertain whether you're inside or outside. You are um, conducting a class outside, you should still be trying to um, uh, place the student so they're at least six feet apart from each other. Students should still be wearing their masks. It's not as though um, moving a class outdoors will obviate the need to use our traditional um, uh, strategies to stop viral spread. What it does is add yet another layer of protection. Learning indoors leaves limited space to socially distance and potentially harmful particles circulating in the enclosed space. Outdoors, plenty of room to spread out and natural airflow to help disperse those possibly infectious droplets. However, outdoor classrooms may not be a long-term solution. When uh, October or November comes, uh, I don't think many people are going to want to be teaching uh, or being taught outside uh, for hours on end. I think this is something that probably is not going to be a major part of our, our long-term um, successful educational plan. Well, the Hawaii and Florida schools we just showed you there, they've had to fundraise on their own to create their outdoor spaces. Here in Los Angeles, local officials are, dis are discussing using county parks and libraries as learning spaces. The school policies, they need to be flexible and nimble, and that might even depend on the weather. Wait. That's right. School year just weeks away in some places. Kaylee, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.